Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to pitchers bound for some ceremonial pitches prior to the start of the ball. The National Force would like to welcome Kayla, six-year-old Peyton, and three-year-old Piera Alas to the diamond. Thank you so much for the honor of the men and women. It's nice, you know, you get the support and stuff like that. So it's nice to be able to see that people still appreciate it. So. Did you expect a welcome home like this? Whose idea was this? It was my wife's idea, actually, Kayla. Um, and, I mean, she told me that there was going to be, like, a parade and stuff like that. Didn't expect it to be nowhere near that big. But, so it, it was a very nice surprise. Have you seen your kids yet? Not yet. So I get to surprise them tonight at the ball game. It's going to be uh, a good surprise for all of us. So. Looking really looking forward to it a lot. When she told you that you were gonna, you know, be the catcher and they were gonna throw out the first pitch, what'd you think? I was excited. Um, I was a little worried at first. I was thinking that somebody was gonna pitch my son or something like that while I was out there. And then I was like, I don't think he's gonna really pay much attention to throwing the ball once he realizes that it's me. But uh, they arranged it to where you know he'll be able to still 
do everything and uh, it'll be I don't know I'm looking forward to it just because it's a, a memory for both the kids that they'll uh, probably never forget so when was the last time you played baseball with your son um or it's been about a year last summer probably so it's been a while so it'll be nice to be able to throw a ball with him for a little bit what um other than this what else are you looking forward to being back home well next week we're going to the beach so um it'll be it'll be a fun time just uh, getting the kids back in the pool both my kids are swimming now so since i've been gone a bit uh, or now that i'm back i'll be able to see them do that so it's just exciting to be able to catch up on the things i've missed out on right so when did you get this big idea that this is what you <laughs> um well, my family and I enjoy watching the show Coming Home, and I got the idea from that, and I got to talking to my friend Beth, and um, she was like, well, what would you like to do if you had the ideal thing, and I said, I'd love to surprise them at a ball game, because our son loves baseball, so that's how it all came to be. She made some phone calls, and things started rolling, so. Did you expect it was going to become this big thing? Never this big of, no, not this big. This is absolutely unbelievable. Awesome. Uh, what are you, other than this, what are you guys looking forward to doing? Um, we have a, a family beach trip planned, just the four of us. Um, it's going to be good to get away. So we're looking forward to that. So how have you kept this a secret from your kids? Do they have any I've idea? I've done a lot of flying. <laughs> um, no, it's just, um, I've told them when I went to pick him up that I had to go out of town for a few days. And they've stayed at um, church families houses and my family's house and so it's been it's been really good everybody has been hush hush about it so it's been awesome uh, do you think this is going to be something that they remember forever absolutely yes they will never never forget this especially Peyton our son <laughs> you ask her? yeah how long has he been gone he left um he left us the day after Christmas of last year, and then he deployed from um, Kansas right after that, so um, about eight months. Has he been gone this length of time before? Or is this the, the longest he's been gone is 15 months, so we've always done either a 15-month deployment or a year deployment. This is, is it, number four. Does it get e harder or easier each deployment? Um, I wouldn't say easier. Like you learn, you learn to deal and to cope on your own. Um, it's it's definitely difficult, but we do a good job of trying to stay in contact as much as possible. So, um, have you ever done a homecoming like this? Never, never done anything like this. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait. You guys got a new player here in the U.S. Army, Staff Sergeant Chris Allen. Welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, Chris, we're going to get you suited up tonight. Outstanding. Uh, be catching the first pitch. I'd like to introduce you to our catcher right now, Stu. Nice to meet you, Chris Allen. Thanks for sharing the ropes. And Chris is going to let you use his uh, catcher sign as well as his lips. Outstanding. That works. As long as he's right handed. <laughs> Outstanding. We can do that. Let's get you suited up. Yeah, I got free. I'll catch y'all for the kids. Well done. Outstanding. Thank you very much, sir. What did I do? Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
reach your kids. Okay. Um, at just like a normal routine of the first dip. Yeah. And as soon as um, they turn their back and start walking towards the mound, that's when we're, there's a tunnel right here. So we're going to slide you out the tunnel, and I'm going to run you out there and then you're going to let them line. Okay. 